Hello and welcome to This Week in Destiny for the 8th week of Season 19, Season of the Seraph, commencing January 24th, 2023. Starting things off with our Legacy rotation, we have the Loot rotation for Dares of Eternity, which will be on Week 4's rotation with the Scatterhorn armor set and Pathfinder armor set being available. The weapons available this week will be the Stasis Precision Frame Shotgun, Fractathis, the Solar High Impact Frame Auto Rifle, Cryoshura Milo, the Stasis Precision Frame Hand Cannon, Vulpicula, the Arc Precision Frame Bow, Wolftown Draw, the Solar High Impact Frame Fusion Rifle, Ayatollah Draconis, the Solar Rapid Fire Frame Heavy Grenade Launcher, Canis Major, the Arc Vice Rapid Fire Scout Rifle, Contingency Plan, the Kinetic High Impact Frame Pulse Rifle, Legal Action 2, the Solar Rapid Fire Frame Heavy Grenade Launcher, Outrageous Fortune, the Void Adaptive Frame Sword, Still Syllabus Z14, and the Kinetic Lightweight Frame Sidearm, Spoiler Alert. Ready if you are. Let's see what's out there. On Europa this week, Critics, the Dark Priestess will be the Empire Hunt, Eventide Ruins will be the Eclipse Zone, and the Exo Challenge will be Survival. On the Moon, the weekly story mission should be Beyond. The Trove Guardian is located in Archer's Line. The Wandering Nightmare is the Nightmare of Hawkis in the Anchor of Light. The Nightmare Hunts this week should be Scolas, Pride, Fanatic, Insanity, and Omnigal, Anguish. The Dreaming City this week is at a weak curse level, which means Petrovenge can be found in the Strand and has the Broken Courier mission for the next week. The Blindwell features Scorn enemies and the Plagues, Sicarus and Veracus, with the Forfeited Shrine being the Ascendant Challenge, located over in the Garden of Asilia. In addition, the weekly Throne World reset also refreshes the pinnacle drops for the Wellspring activity, Preservation mission, and the Vox Obscura replayable exotic mission, plus the new exotic mission, Operation Serious Shield, in the Helm. The Witch Queen weekly story mission is the Arrival, where the modifiers are Scorched Earth and Fire Pit, as well as Barrier and Unstoppable Champions. The King's Fall Ray Challenge this week is the fourth encounter, Daughters of Oryx, called under construction. Players cannot stand on the same plate twice in a single phase. The Vow of the Disciple challenge this week is the first encounter, acquisition, called Swift Destruction, where Guardians must kill all champions within a few minutes of each other on all rounds. The Vault of Glass challenge this week is the fifth encounter, Atheon, called Ensembler's Refrain. Each player teleported can only destroy one oracle in each spawn set. The Garden of Salvation challenge this week is the first encounter, Embrace, called To the Top. This is where you must not kill the Cyclops that spawns near the Consecrated Mind. The Last Wish challenge this week is the fourth encounter, Vault, called Keep Out. Guardians must ensure that no Might of Riven Knights make it to the center chamber during the Vault fight. Your pinnacle raid will be the Deepstone Crypt over on Europa, which means all challenges will be available for each encounter. These are the first encounter, Crypt Security, called Red Rover. This is where all Guardians must be Operator and shoot two panels on the lower level. The second encounter, Atrax 1, called Copies of Copies, where you must not send any Atrax 1 replicant debuffs into the airlock slash space. The third encounter, Tanix Part 1, called Of All Trades. Guardians must perform each role at least once, Operator, Scanner and Suppressor. And the fourth encounter, Tanix called the Core 4. Guardians must dunk all four cores before each DPS phase. Also with the Deepstone Crypt being the featured raid, this does mean that you can farm the final boss for a chance at the exotic rocket launcher, Eyes of Tomorrow. And the pinnacle dungeon for this week will be the Prophecy in the Legends tab. Next up, Challenges. So for week 8, the challenges available in the database are as follows. Serif Shield 3, complete the exotic mission, Operation Serif Shield, on Legend difficulty, defeat 75 combatants with precision damage anywhere in the system using Pulse Rifle. The Ferric Umbral Energy and Challenge XP++ will be the reward. Flawless Heist, complete 3 Heist Battlegrounds in the playlist or Legend Heist Battlegrounds without dying for Challenge XP+. Umbral Focusing 3, focus 5 Icolos Weapon Engrams at the Exoframe in the Helm for Challenge XP+. Plus. Serif Calibration. Calibrate Pulse Rifles, Fusion Rifles and Power Grenade Launchers. Rapidly defeating Combatants and defeating Guardians will award bonus progress for 
Challenge XP++ and Bright Dust. Gambit Ornament Acquire the Gambit Ornament for the Velus X. This will award Challenge XP++ and Bright Dust. And finally, Trial by Firing Squad. Win 20 rounds in Trials of Osiris. This will award a Trials of Osiris weapon, Challenge XP++ and Bright Dust. Speaking of Bright Dust, we have our Eververse for the week of January 24th, 2023. Available this week for Bright Dust, we have the Dance Off Exotic Emote for 3,250 Bright Dust. The Winning Streak Exotic Sparrow for 2,500 Bright Dust. The Vex Incursion Entrance Legendary Transmat Effect for 450 Bright Dust. The Neopop Wave Legendary Shader for 300 Bright Dust. The Camping Exotic Emote for 3250 Bright Dust. The Dastardly Stash Legendary Emote for 700 Bright Dust. The Standout Pose Rare Emote for 400 Bright Dust. The M3D1 Angelos Exotic Sparrow for 2500 Bright Dust. The Dynamo Current Stride Ornament for the Hunters. The Thunderous Impact Greaves Ornament for the Titans and the Arclight Boots Ornament for the Warlocks, each for 1,200 Bright Dust. The Three Glowing Dawns Exotic Weapon Ornament for the Trinity Ghoul Exotic Bow for 1,250 Bright Dust. And finally, the Neiman Projection Legendary Ghost Projection for 1,500 Bright Dust. Hello. As a reminder, your daily Legendary Lost Sector will show you a flag outside which will give you details of champions and burns you'll find inside. But, if you are new to the game or you're using an alternate character and can't find the flag outside, you will have to run through the Lost Sector normally to have it show up on your map as a Legend slash Master. Tuesday, January 24th will be the Concealed Void on Europa for Exotic Helmets, Solar and Void Elemental Shields, Solar Burn with Overload and Barrier Champions. Wednesday, January 25th will be Perdition on Europa for Exotic Boots, Arc and Void Elemental Shields, Arc Burn with Overload and Barrier Champions. Thursday, January 26th will be Sepultra on the Throne World for Exotic Gauntlets, Solar and Arc Elemental Shields with a Solar Burn, Unstoppable and Barrier Champions. Friday, January 27th will be Extraction on the Throne World for Exotic Chess, Arc and Void Elemental Shields and Arc Burn with Overload and Unstoppable Champions. Saturday, January 28th will be the Chamber of Starlight on the Dreaming City for Exotic Helmets, Solar and Void Elemental Shields, Solar Burn with Overload and Unstoppable Champions. Sunday, January 29th will be Aphelion's Rest on the Dreaming City for Exotic Boots, Void Elemental Shields, Stasis Burn with Unstoppable and Overload Champions. And finally, back round to Monday, January 30th will be the K1 Logistics on the Moon for Exotic Gauntlets, Solar and Arc Elemental Shields, Void Burn with Overload and Barrier Champions. Lead the way. Our second featured Grandmaster will see us face off against Hashladun, Daughter of Crota, in the Scarlet Keep over on the Moon where you have a chance to get a Pinnacle Engram if you complete the Nightfall with a score of 100k or more. This Nightfall will require you to own the Shadowkeep expansion to play. You will be able to earn high-end gear for your characters including the Nightfall featured weapon, Exotic Gear, Enhancement Cores, Enhancement Prisms, Ascendant Shards and Adept Mods. The higher the Nightfall difficulty, the more common the drop will be, with the featured weapon and Exotic Gear being uncommon at Hero difficulty to being common with Ascendant Shards in Grand Masters. Legend and Lower Nightfalls will have 7 Barrier Champions and 3 Unstoppable, with 18 Solar and 23 Arc Shields. Masters will have 16 Barrier and 4 Unstoppable, with 18 Solar and 12 Arc Shields. Your Adept Nightfall modifiers will be Fire Pit, when defeated Acolytes spawn fireballs that cause damage over time, Hero modifiers include all previous modifiers, Champions Foe, you will face Barrier and Unstoppable Champions. You can either use Intrinsic Exotics or equip Anti-Champion mods to your Arm Armor to defeat them. These mods come from the Seasonal Artifact. And Extra Shields. Legend modifiers include all previous modifiers. Equipment Locked, you will be unable to change equipment once the mission starts. Match Game, enemy shields are highly resistant to all unmatched elemental damage. Arc Elemental Burn, plus 25% arc damage dealt and plus 50% arc damage received. Arc and Solar Shields Hashladoon Serenade Arc damage is increased, knockback damage and distance is also increased. Master modifiers include all previous modifiers. Champions Mob This mode contains additional champions. Togetherness Base health regen is reduced. If near another player, 
health regen is increased. And Grandmaster modifiers. Chafe, radar is disabled. Limited revives. Gain additional revives by defeating champions. Join in progress is disabled. Extinguish. If your fire team falls in a restricted zone, your team is returned to orbit. The Grandmaster modifiers do not include Pestilence, Togetherness and Ashes to Ashes. Your anti-champion artifact mods for this week's Nightfall are Anti-Barrier Bow and Pulse for 1 energy, Unstoppable Hand Cannon for 1 energy, Grenade Launcher for 7 and a Low Entropy Superconductor where Stasis and Arc Melee abilities stun Unstoppable Champions for 1 energy. You also have exotic weapons and armor that can help with intrinsic mods as well. For Anti-Barrier, the Kinetic Bow Wishender, the Kinetic Linear Fusion Rifle Arbalest, the new Kinetic Pulse Rifle Revision Zero, the Solar Energy Hand Cannon Ariana's Vow, the Solar Heavy Sword the Lament, and the Titan Exotic Gauntlet Second Chance, which gain a second charge of your Shield Throw Melee which becomes Shield Piercing and stuns Barrier Champions. And for Unstoppable, the Kinetic Fusion Rifle Bastion, the Kinetic Hand Cannon Malfeasance, the Solar Energy Sidearm Devil's Ruin, the Void Heavy Bow Leviathan's Breath, and the Hunter Gauntlet's Atheris Embrace, which have the chance to stun an unstoppable champion with their empowered weighted knife. The Nightfall featured weapon to obtain next week will be the Arc Rapid Fire Frame Pulse Rifle, Horrors Least. Horrors Least is a Rapid Fire Frame Arc Pulse Rifle with a base impact of 23, base range of 34, and stability of 49. It can roll with Kill Clip, Vorpal, and Frenzy, with Zen Moment, Under Pressure, and Heating Up. It has the origin trait of Stunning Recovery, where if you stun a champion, you partially refill the magazine, trigger health regen, and improves your recovery for a short duration. And Vanguard Vindication, where final blows with the weapon grant a small amount of health. Delightful! And finally, Lord Chax brings Team Scorch to the featured Crucible playlist for the eighth week of the season. Team Scorch is a 6v6 PvP mode where all players wield a Scorch Cannon. Equipped weapons and abilities cannot be used in this game mode. Movement abilities e.g. lift, jump and glide, sprint and emotes can be used. Players are forced to use a Scorch Cannon that cannot be dropped. The Scorch Cannon has 100 ammo, which is replenished on respawn. Matches have a 7 minute timer, players have a 3 second respawn timer, kills give plus 1 point each, the first team to reach 60 points wins. If the timer runs out before the team reaches 50 points, the team with the largest score wins. The player's current and longest kill streaks are shown at the top of the screen below the score. Plus, don't forget Saint 14 returns at the weekend for Trials of Osiris. As a reminder, Trials of Osiris is a 3v3 PvP high stakes variation of elimination. Only available from Friday reset until Tuesday weekly reset, Trials gives every player the chance to show off their PvP skills to obtain some of Destiny's most sought after weapons and armour. Players that compete in Trials of Osiris will have all of their games tracked through a Passage card, a ticket purchased from Saint-14 in the lower hangar of the tower. Winning rounds and matches in Trials will grant exclusive weapons, armor, pinnacle gear, masterwork materials and even adept gear for the most skilled players who can reach the lighthouse with a flawless ticket of 7 games won with no losses. 5 round wins will bag you that match for your Passage card. By competing in Trials you do have a chance to pick up 2 pinnacle engrams from playing each week. One from 50 round wins and the other from winning 7 games. These do not have to be done all in one go, but you do have to complete them before the weekly reset. That is amazing. Before we go, if you have enjoyed this content and found it most informative, then please hit that subscribe button and check out our show over at twotitansandhunter.com. We would be greatly appreciative. But before you go, we have a few more things to go over for next week. There is double XP in the Crucible this week, so if you're still missing that sweet new ritual weapon, the Velosex Pulse Rifle and Crucible Ornament, the Volosex, then this will be a good week to boost those ranks. Also, don't forget we only have 5 more weeks of the season left for you to complete any missing moment of triumphs for this previous year's activities. Plus, you can earn in-game and bungee store rewards. Guardian down. And that's it for our 8th week of Season of the Seraph. Thank you for watching. Allons-y